right. Good morning, Tom. How are you doing? Good morning, Paul. I'm I like your shirt. <laughs> I wore it on this very special occasion because we're kind of wrapping up our implementation of ProShop. And um, yeah, tell know. us about that. How how's it been? How's the process? Where are you at now? Well, quite frankly, I'm very proud um, to be a ProShop customer and. I don't even really think of you as a vendor. I think of you more as a team member, um, not just you individually, mm -hmm. but the software itself has been just such an integral part of my company. Uh, it's, it's, it's been an awesome experience. I mean, Michael Hegwood has been one of the most patient <laughs> <laughs> implementation specialists that you have, I am sure, because there's, this feeling that I've got my feet on two different boats, you know, one trying to run a, run a business and one trying to implement pro sure. shop, which helps me run the business. But, um, but the implementation went, <sighs> okay. I've been open six months, right? Mm -hmm. okay. six months. Yep. <clears throat> and I started out in 2016 as the implementation guy for my last company. Oh, still, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I, I still stay in touch with those people. Has it been implemented? Actually, they just yanked the plug. And, oh, did they really? Yeah. Five years later? <laughs> Five years later. Oh, no. They just yanked the plug and said, that's, you know, that's terrible. Can't deal with it. And it was one of the greatest frustrating experiences of my life it was like an albatross around my neck and so coming from that experience to this experience six months later you know i'm we're tracking time we're issuing invoices we're doing all of the daily stuff now the interesting part is before we came on you know to start this recording you're walking me through some fairly technically deep details you know on mm -hmm. how to accomplish a task that you generally don't do very often and what it really reveals is how much of the surface i've just scratched with pro shop and and how awesome it is to to learn these new ways to put little parts in inventory and then take them out of inventory and right go for them and and the depth is just it's just kind of like this painting that you look at and you see something new every time you cross mm. paths with that painting. And it's not frustrating. It's, it, it's another form of beauty. Um, mm. I mean, in the way that I describe it, you know? Um, so this has been an awesome experience. And, um, and for those who may be, you know, looking at this video down the road, um there's just three of us here uh, and we're looking for another guy or girl the case may be or lady as the case mm -hmm. may be. and um so the enormity of the program is adaptable to the size of the company unit and, and um even though we're just just getting started six months into this um my brother came, my brother Mark came last week. We were looking at property to uh, move the shop, expand, buy more equipment. Wow, that's All exciting. Very exciting. And what's really nice is that Pro Shop comes right along. You know, sure. Regardless of how big you get. So just really can't say enough about Michael Hagwood and your, your help uh, for me in this. And it has been, it's been awesome. Yeah, well, thank you very much. It's absolutely been our pleasure. You know, it's uh, it's our mission to, quite honestly, it's our mission to help companies like yours thrive, right? You're, what you're doing is the backbone of our economy. It's the ground floor of, of everything that our, our country does and builds and adds value to the world. And so it's really important that customers like you and companies like you have the tools they need to grow unfest, unfettered, right? Just just scale and grow and hire people and onboard them and new customers and jobs and shipping stuff. And so, yeah, it's, <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad you're doing well. Glad you're, 
I, I mean, you've, you've, you started with you and Justin and you got another, you know, kid now running parts and you're looking for a fourth. So that's, you're doubling your staff in the first year, yeah. you know, and you got a real fancy, nice machine. And yeah. I mean, you're, yeah, you're on your way, man. You're doing good. Well, let me give you a little anecdote about a local company here on the island who asked us to bid on, uh, <clears throat> on 20 different parts of which they wanted a quantity of five. Right? Okay. I sent the quote out and they called me back and they said, Oh my gosh, you know, your part was $122 and we're getting that for 35 in North Carolina. Okay. And, and they're like, but he's a mom and pop shop and he's 86 years old and he runs everything on his knee mill and his, you know, old Rockwell lathe. And I'm like, well, look, you're going to come next week and you're going to see not a mom and pop shop. You're going to see systems in place where we can control our costs, we can control our quality and monitor the quality and monitor our time. I said the purchase price of the part raw stock alone is the cost that he's charging you. Yeah, but he has that stock laying around. <laughs> And I said, at what point did it ever walk through the door unpaid for? Right. Doesn't know his cost. He doesn't, he doesn't sure. recognize that cost. And the fact of the matter is, is he's not being fair to himself. And, and really, he's not being fair to you. Um, right. So I'm knowing that information and being proud to show them, you know, what we're doing here when they come next week is... Um, you know, it just makes me very proud. I feel like a rock star. You are a rock star. And I'm, when I'm quoting these things, Justin and I, we've gone back and looked at all the jobs that we have shipped. And I'm telling you, we've been off, of course, in our estimates. But we have been deadly close on just about everything. On the time that it takes, on the material costs and our tooling costs. We have been remarkably close. That's uh, really important. That's, 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 that's excellent. That's amazing. And it's excellent. I mean, it's yeah, great. And we, we've been doing a couple of jobs in repeat. We've been able to share a little bit of the savings mm -hmm. um, that we've been able to get out of this. So we just feel like we're in a really good place. That's and fantastic. You said I'm getting out of pro shop. It's, it's my tool. So. Right. Yeah. A lot. We've heard a lot of clients talk about it as the backbone of their business. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you've got, you've got machines out there on the floor that <clears throat> somebody came in and said, wow, that's an awesome piece of equipment that you have. I said, well, you know, it looks awesome. And when you put the right person with the right tools in front of it and program it correctly and put the right materials and the right work holding in it, It'll sure. make you the right part, but actually it's a, just a dumb piece of cylinders and servo motors. And <laughs> Cast it's just, iron. It, yeah. It's not smart. Um, but the, but you guys have put together this, this program that helps me run my business. You guys, you guys are rock stars. Well, we feel like we're just the road crew for, for you, the rock star. And that's, you know, we got to make sure that your show goes off great and everyone's impressed and happy with it. So, um, it's definitely that way. yeah, well, awesome, Tom. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to, to get to know you more personally over the last few months as we've been doing these and, uh, just watch the journey of, uh, your shop and, and the, trials and tribulations of machines not working right and getting them replaced in long hours. And I remember you calling me like almost the middle of the night, like trying to figure out, well, I'm tapping, you know, I got the G84 and we're tapping or we're doing this and I'm dialing in the tap and is still breaking. And, oh man, yeah, that's the, that's the life of a shop owner. I mean, it's, it's the hardest business in the world to run. It really is. Yesterday I was walking around with my right shoe full of coolant. <laughs> <laughs> and, and i just thought i wouldn't have it any other way our, did you did you accidentally team, step in the coolant tank I, <laughs> did you spray I was, yourself i was I, well i pulled a tank i was it sloshed on you <laughs> i was refilling the coolant tank 
and uh, knocked the hose off, and it came and just soaked my leg. And then I put the hose back and and uh, secured it. And I promptly forgot that I was refilling the coolant tank because I was distracted. And then I spilled coolant on the floor. <laughs> 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 I'm glad you're laughing about it. That's that's it that's the most important part. But I wouldn't have it any other way. RX Industries on Hilton Head Island as a machine shop, running pro shop. I'm living the I'm living living the best life. Oh, that's so fantastic. Well, if any any machinists are watching this, you should. And you're looking for some for something fresh. Definitely call on Tom. It's a beautiful place. I hear. I got to come visit you. I will be visiting you at some point for sure. I would be embarrassed if you didn't. So, no, I, I absolutely uh, will. <laughs> and uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, any machinist out there who um, think differently and want to work for a different comp kind of company, Arx Industries is hiring, and uh, love to love to talk to you about it so. awesome Tom. Well, i can't thank you enough for all this time together it has been a true pleasure to do that. it's been all mine it's been right. so fun so all right well we're gonna sign off but uh always i'm always a text away or a call away so uh look forward to keeping in touch and watching you grow over the years okay well thanks a lot paul all right take care tom bye-bye